This is the Ductor, continuing the Battle Brothers playthrough. Let's go fight these brigands and help out um, Goldbrook. There's ten of them, three marksmen. Two of them have good bows. These brigands are actually kind of tough. There's two guys with pikes, guy with a long axe, guy with a bill hook. Um, let's see what they do. They're gonna defend. Okay. So they think they have the range advantage on us. They're not wrong. We could use this piece of cover and move some of our, our archers up here. I like that idea. No, we can't go here, that's too risky. So, cars to here. This position should be okay. But I want to move sort of my more expendable guy up. percent shot we have all sorts of like good cover relative to the archers this bush is protecting us headshot. Ooh, okay. Good. Some of them are moving out. We can flank that marksman, so this raider is going to be the most dangerous enemy of the bunch. <sighs> they have two pro arm users. Our best men are on the left flank. We have to back up quite a bit to protect. Or we have to rush them. Their pro arm users are definitely the most dangerous. So I think we can kill this guy pretty easily. If we fall everyone back, we can get some more shots on them. If we stand and fight here, how will we engage? Like, I can definitely get men up in the face of these poor users. I 
Let's at least wait. Yeah, let's see if any of these shots go well. If the shots go well, maybe we do fight them. <coughs> uh, it wasn't really who I wanted to hit. Ah, yes, with your injured shoulder, you're not doing much damage. Right. So does Bertram. Both of my archers here have the injured shoulder. So they're not going to do much. We retreat, we obviously have to like fall all the way back here. thinking about like my odds of killing these brigands they're really the guys with the pikes are really really dangerous I don't know if I can collapse their morale fast enough Ooh! oh I don't have any more nets if only we had more nets we could throw out two nets this is why you want nets Falling back does make some sense. We can go for the flank here. If we move up here. We're gonna have to have two rounds of combat without backup. It'll take a while for Alexander de Blue and Karsten to come in. I'm not entirely sure these men, these uh, six men here, can take on all these raiders. I think falling back is the correct move. Oh, right! They could also do that, move up and pin me. Good point. That might have been a mistake. I guess we have no choice but to fight now. Take a shot and then move down because I don't want them to run up and impale me. Yeah, yes, that's fine. We have very heavy armor. Bjorn is dying. Okay, with our heavy armor, I feel a little better about moving up. Chances to hit are too low. Hold. Shoot wall. Good. Nice hit. Headshot. Let's try to kill. Okay, they're gonna get such a massive round of moves off on us. This is gonna suck. Whew. Good luck. Good. This guy swapped weapons. Yep, Yarn is almost dead. He was always expendable. Ah, we have some good chance of hitting that guy with the long axe. Hmm, that 
hurt, Karsten. One down. Bjorn somehow survived. We pinned one of the marksmen in, which is very good. We need to murder the guy with the pike. Those guys tend to be the most dangerous. Ah, now we can pin two guys in if we do this. But I feel like getting the high ground advantage is also really, really good. Shield wall yourself. Swap to your crappy weapon. Ouch! Ketabed, cut arm, sit you, and pierce arm muscles. Ugh. Okay, this guy has yet to attack. Let's get to high ground. We should be able to murder him. I'm not going to cause a morale collapse here, unfortunately. He could kill, and then he's going to attack. I think what we do is unleash the hounds. This should hopefully distract these brigands next. That's more or less what I expected. Bjorn died, but he did not give his life in vain. Ah! Bertram. Let's get you up on the hill here. Good. Shield wall up. I can't seem to hit that raider, unfortunately. The dog, at the very least, should distract the AI. Yep. That's fine. They're attacking the uh, dogs, but not me. I am perfectly okay with that. Hold. Let's try to get some more shots on that brigand. Good. This brigade raider has a pierce hand and he is almost dead. Repost his shield wall. Let's do this rotation because I really want to kill that raider. And this guy can't really do any damage. Cut him in, is too injured. Quite effectively. Good. Injured shoulder. That was a break armor. Ooh, my heavy armor is almost gone. But this guy's exhausted. I think we just need to try to kill. I'm not worried about that guy, honestly. Let's take out the two more dangerous enemies here. 
these guys were posting. High ground and good armor. I don't really care. Uh, definitely the guy with the axe is more dangerous. Oh, right, right. I forgot they were posting. Whoa! bro got injured by that guy with dagger he got lucky <laughs> oh no Helfrick died and Helfrick has the heavy armor the heavy armor might be like totally destroyed that's unfortunate This is what happens when you try to do these fights without, like, fully capable team. Good. Bro's a little too injured. If I lost that armor, that would have been the true, true problem. Shield wall. The guy's still reposting. Okay, now he's just shield walled it. Because that armor was worth 2,000 crowns. Way more than, um, than my men there. I don't care about hunting down that poacher. <laughs> Just need to move up and collapse this guy's morale. <laughs> Good. That guy's basically dead. Okay, we've taken the moat out. I don't even feel like hunting that last brigand down, but... Why not? This was a much tougher one skull contract than I was expecting. Okay, we got two brothers struck now. Bjorn, who was always expendable, so I don't really care. But, um, Helfrek, if I recall, he was actually decent. That's why I gave him the heavy armor. Or, or, or even if I lost him, it wouldn't be a big deal. We have so many other, like, good recruits. But losing the armor, that 210 armor, um, that would have been the real hit. <coughs> yep, Yarn is dead. He was able to come here for two days, took part in three battles, and has three kills. Yep, he was never very valuable. Helfrek was only with the company for four days and took part in one battle. He must not have been very valuable either. They're both, like, very low level. This is fine, then. We got a long axe. We got another pike out of this. Lots of helmets. We did lose the armor. Ugh. Oh. That's the real loss here, the armor. That was like a 2,000 crown armor. Ah. It's a good thing we have plenty more recruits, but that armor, man, that armor was so valuable. Uh, 
Um, we need to buy more ammunition, more everything, really. We should be very careful about giving low level brother good armors from now on. Now that I think about it, if they get struck down, we could lose their armor. I don't care about losing the brother. I know that's terrible, but um, there are ways to get around that. We need to buy at least some tools. I feel like we need to buy at least some ammunition. This other contract here is to clear out a cemetery, Hellho Crypt, which would clear out the Terrified Villagers debuff, making this town much more profitable to trade with, which is good, but... Well, we can't have Herberold up in front, he's too injured. Egon is mostly healed. Ketterman is also too injured to be of much use. Man, all my guys are so injured. Wolfram is sort of the only guy. We can have two more guys out in front. We have to pick like the lesser of evos at this point. Pure Slung is very bad, but you could kind of work around that using a very efficient weapon like a sword. I just can't believe I lost that armor. Okay, I think this is a good place. Um, this is gonna be a shorter than usual video. Maybe I've been pushing my men way, way too hard. And the proper thing to do is just to not take some of these contracts, spend some time, rest up, maybe go to a town, sell off some of the loot. Probably gonna need to buy another good piece of armor. Just give our men some time to recover. Pushing them so hard seems counterproductive. The reason why I'm like going so hard is because there's a timer to the first crisis, which could hit by like day 80. And you want to get ready for that first crisis as fast as possible. But if I, um,. Risk, like, take too many risks, that's also very bad. In any event, I think this is a good place to stop the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.